Hey, we're back with some more Iron Cryptical for Nintendo Switch. And jump in, see how far we can make it this time. Got stuck on floor two last time, so hopefully we can at least make it to the second floor boss. Hey, Q! Welcome! Unfortunate name for a good looking game. <laughs> Iron Cryptical. Yeah, it's an interesting game. I locked endless mode on it. Then I unlocked a few weapons and items. Pretty cool. As you um, find items in the dungeons and weapons and stuff, and they appear in your ledger, you can look at. And there's challenges, they're like achievements. So, got a few of those unlocked, a few of those completed. But let's get in, pick a guy. So far, there's four to pick. I'm wondering if there are more characters that are going to unlock later on. So, we will. Pick one, two, three, four. Go. How you been doing, Q? This is skippable, but I'm just playing it through since it's the start of the stream. So far, my main beef with the game is it is not 360 movement or shooting. It is 8 way movement and shooting. But can't complain because there's another game out there that's only 4 way moving and shooting. So, never did play that other one very much. score possible from what I understand you got to keep on collecting goodies while you, while you uh, can keep your multiplier up your score multiplier I believe There, the next one. Oh, that's a new weapon I haven't seen before. Oh, I quit touching those skulls. Oh. 
<laughs> no. And I died. I haven't quite figured out how the experience points work yet. I think it said the instructions, but I kind of forget. That's what gets me my unlock stuff. That's new. Oh, never mind. There's those my those things I was tossing before. I think these guys I can't kill. I've never killed one yet. I think they're invincible. Ah, and there's that guy. No, I can't kill him. My point won't play all the way back down. I don't think it really matters. Nope. I think we can spend our money here finally. 
Sweet. 200 extra credit. Magical gauntlet. Oh, I see that's up there. Nonsensical rune. Well, I need to build bonus. Extra weapon duration. That'd be good. Hmm. Magical gauntlet. I think that's the punch. Why not? I uh, don't think we really need non essential ruin. Boss time! No! Get away from that! I want that! Oh, you stole it from me. Nice. That spell really smoked him. Next floor! Not sure how many floors are all together. No! You get hit by those frozen things. There you go, got it, finally. Money. Oh man, that was a quick death. Down to my last credit. Come on, I was walking away from that. Do what? To the right? Nah. We don't need coins. Oh, there's easy to get through. Maybe we'll get an extra credit out of it.
like a mini game. we get 50 coins Got some things for money or from points graveyard <laughs> I'm so bad at avoiding stuff Game over. Bah, bah, bah. Oh, I didn't know what getting that time. That really sucked. This guy had four hit points. This one's got three. Maybe I picked something up last time that gave me extra hit point. I can do better than that. So close. There we go. Made up my money. Ambushed. Oh no.
go up. Wait. Yeah. speed this up besides waiting for possible upgrades. Oh yeah, I've got four uh four hearts now, okay so I see. As my guy levels up I guess I get more hit points. Huh. Periscope chat just stopped working all of a sudden. That's weird. That's, I was wondering what happened there. Just chatting and just poof, no responses. I think you're just lurking. That's weird that Periscope would just stop like that. Or maybe it's Restream not working Periscope properly. I don't know. I think Periscope and Restream are always having issues. You're back. How have you been doing? Got some coins, got some food. Ooh, got a heart. Time. Wait, a green jewel. How does it even help me? Gauntlet, nah. Weapon, speed. Never seen a jewel before, so. Hmm, wonder how that works. I say speed. Is that movement, movement speed? Yes, it is. Just enough for that one. Sure. Boss time.
I always walk right into it. Yes. We got an achievement. Oh, I missed it. Ah, enemies. Mines on the ground. Oh, come on. Oh, I see. They're only giving me, uh. They're only giving me three hearts to start off with. Need the heart. <laughs> Guys are mean. Played Ultra on the Wii, right? I have, yes. I played Ultra on quite a bit until I got to a really bad bug. And they refused to fix the bug. Said I've never seen a patch for the game. So I stopped playing. That's the game. Ultron or Ultratron came to mind. I was talking about 360 degree moving and shooting. Yeah, that was a pretty fun game. Yeah, so this one reminds me a bit of uh, Binding of Isaac, but instead of having it's limited to four four directional movements, you got eight. So it's better than that. <laughs> Which is nice, but once you've played with 360, everything that's not 360 just feels outdated. <laughs> See double swords. I grab my swords. See, I got two punches. He's a punch up. You 
go with magic spell yet. Played through um, Ultratron. I think you have that game, don't you? some weapons or a weapon <laughs> the completed loop one okay I don't remember how many loops there were I think there's like 40 levels or something 30 some levels then it just kept repeating I don't remember <laughs> oh man I tried dashing over to there you quickly check the instructions again with dashing Loop one meaning the first run of all four levels. Okay, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Movement speed, rate of fire, damage, duration. Yeah, yeah, loop two, stage 41. I think I got a couple loops in because I found that I had a, sp a specific weapon combination with certain bonuses I had. Where I was shooting like, really like a mix of weapons, like a spreader with something else and something else, and I was just smoking everybody on the screen. And then you had, I think, the skulls would multiply your shots, make you even crazier. And I was able to do it where the skulls would stay with me every stage, so I would just smoke every level. But then I got to a certain level, and the game would slow down because of the frame rate, because I had so much going on the screen at once that it would lock up the stage every time and I couldn't pass the stage. So I sent it in and clipped it and showed it to the developers They never bothered patching it. So I'm like, okay, I'm even stuck on this stage. I'm not playing the game anymore then. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Dash to take, yeah, dash to get around fast. Okay, so maybe I do take damage while I'm dashing still. And I'm playing on normal difficulty. Yeah, I have a YouTube video of it acting up, I believe. I think it's uh, hidden though, not uh, public. I don't remember. Turn power from screen so that I can shoot through them for the benefits of using them up. Something like that, yeah. Remember there being certain skulls that you can shoot through and they would multiply your weapons and make them do more damage and give you more weapon streams at, at once. I don't remember, I'd have to load the game up. <laughs> but yeah, it was a really weird bug. What did you think of the uh, Nintendo Direct today? 
There's some interesting stuff and some so so stuff. Or are those the arrow? I think those are the new arrow they got. One of the best ones yet. Astro Chain looks like a clear winner. Yeah, Astro Chain, hmm. It looks interesting. I have to see more of it. If you wanna play Demon to X Machina, but you might be too sleepy right now for that. Yeah, I got the demo on the Switch. I haven't tried any of the demos yet. Yoshi's Yoshi's uh craft world and stuff like that. Yeah, they're all sitting there waiting for me, but not sure when. I grabbed that, uh, uh, something rune, dial room or whatever, the, the, uh, next game in the Undertale series. Ever played Undertale? The game looks really weird to me. Maybe this will be better for me? I don't know. It looks just as wonky, though, so I might not even get into it. Undertale, yeah, me either. But you've seen so many playthroughs that you feel he plays so many times that you're sick of it. <laughs> yeah, from what I've heard, it's not a very long game. There's, like different routes, I guess you can take in and stuff, but. Yeah, no, it doesn't. No, it hasn't caught my interest yet. Maybe it's something you have to play versus watch, I don't know. It's not very short either, but it's too long for multiple playthroughs in your opinion, okay. So it's gotta be bit then. Yeah, and the Fire Emblem game they showed off. Yeah, it looks nice animation wise and stuff, but I don't know, they didn't really show much gameplay wise. They didn't tell much about the story. Like, I want to know how the story plays. One thing we know is that you become a teacher and you get to pick one of three houses. So, the one of three houses, does that mean it's uh, each house has their own set of maps? Which is going to be similar to playing Fire Emblem Fates, where each story had their own set of maps and, and goals and stuff like that. If that's the case, is, uh, is new Fire Emblem game going to be pick one house for free, and the next two houses are going to be DLC unlockable? Similar to where you buy one game on Fates, and then you gotta buy the other two DLCs to unlock it. I was like, hmm, makes me wonder. Is there gonna be a main story? And you end up playing through all three houses throughout the game? It's like. Would assume similar to Fates, until they see otherwise, yeah.
Although it seems more like you buy the whole package. Hopefully. Oh, trying to take one out. If you buy all three houses, if you buy all three houses at one game's price, then play through one, two, or all of them as you see fit. Yeah, that's what we're kind of hoping is going to be is a. Ah, oh, come on. Just a single purchase, like a normal just one game, and you get three stories. Or maybe it's just gonna be the same story, like the same set of quests, or set of, like, batches of missions. But then, each house will have their own advantage or disadvantage, so it's the same game every time. But you'll just play with different advantages or different disadvantages. Or like different playstyles. Sort of like, I guess, with Fire Emblem Warriors and Hyrule Warriors. You know, it's the exact same game, but each character has their own ups and downs. It could be like that too. <laughs> So yeah, they can go quite a few different ways with that game right now, since they haven't really shown off or explained the main the main story and how the, all the missions come into effect. And... Ooh, extra damage, speed. Ooh, shopaholic. Was it by heart? The bull of face. Yeah, Yoshi's craft world looks looks interesting. I'm hoping it's not mainly a bunch of mini games in a small world or something. You're talking about a lot of mini games. This has got me interested so far. taken care of. Oh, I knew it too. Didn't finish Woolly World. So you might just pass on Crafted World. Woolly World is pretty good. Spent quite a bit of time to go unlock every everything in it. I had a fun time with that one. Oh, where am 
my over there. The odd one for me, well, the game, would be the remake of uh, Link's Awakening. I had a lot of fun with that on the Game Boy. But, so if I'm understanding the game correctly, it's a reimagining of the story. So then, there should be a different island, and so probably different dungeons, so it's basically like a different game. Same objective, but just different dungeons, different map. Or maybe it could be the same map, just different dungeons, I don't know. Depends if they're doing like an Ocarina of Time Master Quest type of change to it, or whether they've made it so it's like an actual different game. For the most part. But for me the graphics. The graphics is what gets me right now. It looks like clay animation. And down uh, just the way it looks for a Zelda game for clay animation, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Reminds me of clay fires for SNES. Still got hit from that after using a punch to take everything out. Doesn't look, doesn't look. I like as much as Toilet to you. I'll have to rewatch it, but some scenes had a clay feeling to it. See here. Tilt shift photograph photography style seems to lend itself to the idea that it's miniatures you're looking at. As I kind of see, I guess, type of like miniature yeah, clay or toy type of thing. Like the old. Uh, Oh, I want to go down. I'm not going to be able to make that. Darn it. Like old Jim Henson stuff. I guess. Like models type thing. Yikes! It hurts. It's so hard to read chat. And you've got everybody attacking you. Too much on screen. <gasps> Dang it! Game over! Uh, it definitely didn't look like Kirby Canvas Course. Curse. <laughs> or Kirby the Rainbow Curse. Jarrow's Claymation. Yeah, it wasn't quite that bad. I'm gonna have to watch the video again. Man, I didn't even unlock anything on time. This is tough. I can make it to the second stage, and then boom. So what we'll do, let's see here. You found a good screenshot of your webcam? <laughs> Tweet it under the link. To your vid. Oh, cool. I'll just check it out after. So, we'll do. Oh no, so my switch is offline. So, I can't even jump back onto the eShop. So, let's see, putting it online first. I was gonna pull up the, uh, the video and just check over the Link's Awakening at the end.
That's fine. Let's see here. What we can do if you want. If you want to see me play through any of the demos after this run, then I can look at doing that. Depending on which demos you've tried already. Which ones do you want? I want to see how I do comparative, comparatively. I don't know. I was trying to find time for everything, but too much stuff to do, too much things to look at. Man, this game is is really challenging. I can get through the first stage, usually. <laughs> Not always. But that second stage, man. Every time I get hit, it looks like my timer resets for my combo. It might be a delay as well based on how long I take to eat the food, but it looks like every time I get hit, it definitely goes away. Way to go. Don't know which way to go. They're all secret right now. Oh, what was that? No. Yeah, so even without getting hit, you end up having a timer there for your food. Oh. Room service. Interesting. Always oh, I got into, I guess, special rooms so many times. See the guy there. All the fog everywhere. Have you tried that Tetris 99? Do you even have the Nintendo Online service? I think you do. I don't have it. I never subscribed to it yet. I haven't had a need to... to uh, I haven't had a need to go to do any type of online gaming. Everything I've been showing off has always been mainly offline. So.
do have it downloaded, but you haven't tried it. A lot of people post their first place victories. I guess it's fairly easy to get uh, first place of the 99 then if there's a ton of people posting uh, first place victories on there. Get out! Like graveyard. A spooky graveyard. Smoke everybody out here. Oh, it's you. Speed. Go speed. Extra hearts. Always good. What are you doing? Come on. Oh. 
Yes. <laughs> Holy teeth, bad thing. Ooh, the floor two. Haven't ever gotten to the second boss yet. Get me. Missed it by that much. Did you smash TVs as you were game over too? <laughs> I remember Smash TV for Super NES. I know I've played it, but I don't think I ever got very far in that game. I can't remember. It was a long time ago since I played that. here. So what are your thoughts on this game so far? Interesting title. Very challenging, that's for sure. sure <laughs> yeah I think it's more of a game where you want to play it versus watch it right and down Spend that's the option you grab it. I have a few too many unfinished roguelikes right now. Yeah, yeah, I got a few of those. Enter the Gungeon, Dead Cells, 
Uh, I gotta think. There's a few there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's quite a few. Still tired. I remember them. Let's try. Hard, easy, neural. I'll do something different this time. I'm gonna go into endless mode, see what happens. Wave one. Big fan of that chucking one. Ooh, that's new. Having a flame behind me. This is just onslaught after onslaught. The mutants, slam balls, and crazy creatures that go bump in the night. Just out of his range. I don't think I've ever collected the, all the bonus runes either. Magic Pockets reminds me of the computer game. By the same name, Magic Pockets.
with my ice flame. I will destroy you all. Look at that, it's white heat. Definitely getting you more and more challenging. Come on. Oh. How many teams do we get? Doesn't tell you. sure we can't just keep playing endless as long as we want. There's got to be credit limit. But it is endless, so... Blunderbuss. Weapon unlock. Crazy. This we unlock something. <laughs> Don't know if it's because I was endless or just because I bubbled up enough to get it. Oh man. Got stuff that's a lot of stuff here. That we've got open. A lot of stuff we don't have open. Oh boy, boy. So that'll be it for this part for Iron Cryptical on Nintendo Switch. Thanks for watching, folks. Have yourselves a good day, and I'll see you all next time.